advice to give by the way my name is Ruth M. My channel is about beauty, lifestyle and hair. If you like to be part of this family, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there is a new video up on this channel. So without further ado, let's jump right to the video. But if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, do all the good stuff. Let's jump right into the reason why you click on this video. So recently, there has been a lot of palettes released from influence. It's kind of getting too much. All the women that I am about to talk about, I have such a great respect for them. They have such a good number of followers and influence on people's lives. I respect each of them here. So nobody should get me wrong here. I have my own opinion. I feel like I have to also express myself how I feel about the recent releases of palette from influencers, which is becoming too much for me personally. And with this eyelashes trend that is also going on, it's either an influencer is having her own eyeshadow palette with a brand or she's having her own eyelashes brand. And it's like, I feel like they are quite used we are normally used to seeing them do as in the other way round. I'm starting off with my primer from Neo Kaido Grip. It's beautiful as an influencer or YouTuber to own something since we are in the beauty industry. I really understand that as you grow in anything that you do, you want to be secure, you want to get into other type of business, you know. And I feel like they see that as an opportunity to have their own palette. But how many of them, after a while, nobody hears anything about the palette that they, are, they have created. To cover my blemishes, I'm using L'Oreal Messier Translucent Palm. Only the affected areas. So I'm going to use Clinic All About Eyes to just give my eyeshadow a very nice base, something to hold on to. I really don't know. I'm not a Nigerian, so I don't know if I pronounce some of the names wrong. Please with me. Let's start off with Fumi. I really like her. I watch her YouTube because she has this tips about uh, feminine hygiene, which I really love. I got to know that she started with beauty and gradually she's just shifting. It's all like that with us YouTubers. Sometimes when we start, we don't really know what audience likes, so we'll be just testing things out. As time goes on, we get to know what your audience really expect from you she recently have a palette with Juvia's Day which was beautiful I will throw on the screen some pictures for you to see what I am talking about it was beautiful but my opinion is okay the palette is now out so when are people going to purchase I know it's a limited edition or I don't know Cap. <laughs> <laughs> What was the reason behind her having her own palette? Is it her passion to have a palette as a beauty influencer or just an influencer? I believe we, there are so many things that we can do as influencers apart from having our own eyeshadow palette, if you get me. And for my foundation today, I'm going to use Huda Beauty. This foundation is very thick. I like to color correct a little bit around my mask. So let's talk about Jackie Aina. And I, oh! 
Jackie Aina came out with an eyeshadow palette before Jackie Aina came out with eyeshadow palettes. There were a lot of influencers and YouTubers who already have palettes and brands, but I choose to speak about a few of them. So if you want, you can do your research and find out how many influencers have been into this eyeshadow palette thing. Jackie collaborated with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and her own palette, which was beautiful. I really like abh palettes because their palettes are very pigmented for me if i am supposed to buy any palette out there abh will always be my first option because i just love the pal their palettes because of their pigment Jackie coming out with the palette from abh was quite wonderful and apart from jackie having a palette with abh she has also her candle business and stuff the fact is maybe it was her wish to have her own palette that is beautiful, but will I buy? And I, oh! Me, personally, I will only purchase a palette that I feel like I will use it or I really need it, not because an influencer have a palette out there. The reason or the purpose of them creating their own palette is they have the fan base, they have followers, they have subscribers, and they want their followers and subscribers to have a piece of them and so they put their love into products and bring it out of the day after the palette comes out a few months later you don't get to hear about it and people are already fed up with it you don't see people using it afterwards in their videos so i feel like we have to also know the reason why we are buying palette not just because Jackie Anna has a palette out there, so I want to buy. Or oh, Fumi has a palette out there, so I want to buy. I will only buy a palette because I feel I like the range of colors in that palette. Else, I wouldn't buy. So moving on, I would like to contour with my So moving on to Patricia Bray, she also created her own eyeshadow palette with Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution has been creating a lot of eyeshadow palettes with influencers in general. And they themselves as a brand, they love coming out with affordable eyeshadow palettes. I have quite a few of their eyeshadow palettes with me. But the thing is, even me, I am quite fed up with Makeup Revolution palettes because I feel like it's the same thing, but they change one or two things from it and then Boom! Ah! Got it. They've given us a new palette. People are kind of not interested in palettes like before because when somebody buy a palette now, the next day yeah, there is another new palette out there, and these new releases of palettes from Makeup Revolution is becoming too much. So I personally doesn't even buy palettes from them again. I have quite a few because you think that oh, it's affordable. You buy one and then you come out with another one and then you come out with another so at the end of the day you get fed up and you get tired of always they coming out with a palette that looks almost similar or the same so as time goes on the interest that we gonna see then i'll use this palette from uvs I will do this eye, my eyebrows, and then get back to you. I'm done with the eyes. My eyebrows are done. Lashes is on. I already have an eyebrow tutorial on my channel. That's why I don't want to do that with you guys over and over again. I will link that down below or leave that up. The concealer I'll be using is from Elf. And back to what I was saying, and then came. Vanessa Chima, she's from Ghana. Information will be at you. And I'm also from Ghana too. Recently, she had a palette with Julius Lee. 
which was beautiful i watched her review on her channel she was so happy and she also shared her story of how she became who she is right now it was quite inspiring but the fact is will i buy her palette the question is no and the reason why i wouldn't buy is i didn't see anything so different from other palettes that is already there if you really understand me i'm not trying to criticize her i really love her work she's such a good makeup artist when it comes to the artistry side i will only buy if i want to support her as of if i'm an ordinary person just trying out new makeups and i come in contact with her palette for that really attract me to buy no because i feel like it was only six shades and some of the shades already in her palette it can be it can be found in dubious place and people are not into uh palettes as before for me instance i barely buy palettes i will only buy eyeshadow palettes when i feel like the colors or the shades in there is something i can work with kudos to her her palette was really okay the shades in her palette it's, it's not like nothing that we've not seen Yemi Angelina, she's also an influencer. She's an influencer on Instagram. I don't know whether she has a YouTube channel because I have never come across her YouTube channel. She also has a palette with Juvia's name, and her palette is also, like I said, nothing that we haven't seen before. There are a lot of palettes already out there, and they coming up with a palette. It's beautiful for their followers. Maybe they want to share their journey with their followers. But is this something that the ordinary people buy? No, I think most of the times when they release those palettes, it's like a support thing going on on Instagram. This one will purchase the other one's palette and the other one will do the same. So whenever each of them comes up with a palette, it's like you have to support each other. So most of the times, it happens that her followers or her subscribers tend to buy one or two and the people that are in the same category with her like if i say the people that are in the same category with her don't get me wrong it's like our among ourselves among the influencers each of them will support you so as when they also bring out a product or collaborate with a brand you also will support if they want to get to the business aspect of being influencer, they can do other stuff. There are a lot of things. For instance, Jackie Aina is into candles, which is really beautiful. I really like the fact that she's doing something different as of what we are used to seeing from influencers. That is how it's supposed to be. Not everybody creating their own palette. Because there are a lot of palettes out there that has almost the same shape that they are recreating why 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 so i'm setting my face with the nine banana powder mixed with Oreo Messier. since my under eye is a little bit golden Recently, Neymar also came out with a lipstick and I think pencil, I lip pencil or whatever. I don't really know. That was cool for me. That was nice because I think she also didn't do what we were expecting. An influencer coming out with the palette. Let's just be honest. It has become quite boring. Like, anytime an influencer comes out with something, it has to be palette or eyelashes. I mean, we are just fed up with those things. I think we can do better than bringing palettes and eyelashes.
guys, this brings us to the end of today's video. I, I hope you like the look I created and I don't have anything against all the influences that I talk about. But the fact is, I had to also share my opinions with you guys, what I think about influencers creating palettes. I think they can do other things apart from palettes, create palettes always. If one person uh, does it, it's okay, but when it's becoming too much, it's it gets boring with time because we are used to seeing influencers coming up with palette of so it's nothing special this brings us to the end of today's tutorial see you next time bye bye